Angels tribute show when they played with the North Carolina Orchestra um, probably about a year ago now, and that was fantastic as someone who never grew up and was a little late for the Beatles. It was fun to be able to see that on stage, and I know a lot of people enjoy this. So let's go ahead and welcome back in Margaret. Good morning, Margaret. Good morning, John. Good morning, listeners. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning, Seth. You know, we when, when we had Richard before he passed away, you know, he had that whole uh, set of the Beatles with their instruments sitting on the, the break front in his office, and we could pass by every day and look at the Beatles because he was a Beatles fan. With the Beatles poster. I guess, Beatles poster. So we are glad that you're back again. Tell us a little bit. About, I'm going to have Seth tell us a little bit about the program, and I'm going to you tell us about yourself, okay? Yes, we've been leading up to this for a while. We've uh, been saying we have a very busy March, and uh, on March 23rd, we will have Beatlesque back for the third time. Uh, it's 7.30 p.m. Those tickets are available online or by calling the box office at 919-774-4155. And today we have Kevin Payne, who's a part of the Beatlesque tribute band, and I'll let him tell a little bit more about himself and Beatlesque. Yes. Yeah. Um, Beatlesque is a tribute band. We're based out of Raleigh. The band's been together uh, since 2016. <clears throat> um, we wear the wear the suits. Uh, a few of the guys wear wigs. I was gonna ask um, if you changed your hairstyle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a couple of the guys do. They wear the wigs. You can't hide your curls wearing a Beatles wig. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the big thing is we play the songs as close to the originals as we can. Try to do it note for note, which I think is what sets us apart. And you played across the state, haven't you? Yeah, we played in North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia. So we've, we've to got big audiences. Yeah. Because, you know, everybody loved the Beatles. That was that was like following Michael Jackson around when they had him on TV. Everybody would go to people's houses who didn't have a TV, and everybody would sit together. They could watch the Beatles. That was a little before Michael Jackson, before I think. Before you. Well, it was, it was. But still, that's the way they, you know, they would run behind the Beatles, and, and later on, they ran behind Michael Jackson. It's just some things that right. never get old. Right. And Beatles, the Beatles, that's one of the things that never gets old. Michael Jackson never gets old. So, you played all across the state, in other states. What kind of music do you think that the audience really prefers out of all the Beatles tunes that you play? Um, it's tough to say because you get a lot of people who like the early day stuff. I think the band itself prefers the early day stuff. It's got more energy. It's a lot of fun to play. Um, and people like the older stuff as well, or the newer stuff, I guess you'd say. Um, the later days stuff, the Sgt. Pepper era. Yeah. So it's hard to say. I mean, people seem to like it all. Do, do you notice that the crowd, I notice now that young people seem to like the music that their parents like. Right, Seth? Yes. Well, actually, my dad's a big fan of the early days of the Beatles, so yeah. I grew up listening to all of that stuff. Um, and they're just, they are, they're titans of the music industry. They're sort of larger than life and iconic. Uh, so I'm really excited to get to hear Beatlesque on the 23rd because uh, I haven't actually gotten to go to the other two performances because I was still in Chapel Hill at that time, so well, that's what I'm I really excited. Say, the music that's played now, they, they, that they play back then, that's music. What right. they play now, that's a different... Well, <laughs> that's I don't, noise. I don't want to be young <laughs> but anyway, everybody likes it, so have you noticed that your audience is a lot of young people when you play? Yeah, we get all ages. I, I mean, we get Beatles all ages. music but, is kind know, of timeless, and it's, it's something that's not going to go away, and we love seeing the younger people come out. And we've had you twice here in Lee County, right? Yes. And I bet you had a full studio. Folks, I know you were here then, but well, maybe you were here. I don't think I was. Um, but fun fact, actually, my brother is at Northwestern, and in one of their libraries, they have some of the original uh, scribblings for the lyrics from uh, McCartney and really? Lennon and all of those. And it's, I took a picture, of it. I have it on my phone, but that uh, was really special to see that. And they are. They are larger than life, in my opinion. You probably have lived in, um, uh, there are a lot of people feel like that. Mm -hmm. life life. How long have you been doing Beatles? Uh, since 2016. Um, a couple of the guys were in a band previously that was more of a Beatles cover band. They didn't really dress up and do the suits and know it, do it note for note. Um, and then those two guys decided to start a new Beatles tribute where we just do it the right way. So and, you wear the clothes and, yeah. and, and the wigs and all that kind of stuff. Do you have... Uh, like souvenirs when people come to hear you play. Do you have any of the bow ties, the string bow ties, or anything that the people, the audience would like to take home with them? Um, we sell t-shirts and bumper stickers sometimes. And we're always surprised when we do sell them because we're a tribute band. Um, but people do buy the shirts and stuff. So well, it's I'm pretty sure cool they do. Yeah, you know. walk around wearing a Beatles shirt. Oh, that's, it might not be safe. <laughs> get taken, <laughs> get taken from you before you get home. Uh, so it's how many in the band? Four of us. It's four of you. <laughs> 
true I'll, to form. Yeah, all, all males. Yes. And you have the singers and you have the musicians and you uh, doing something like the Beatles. Are, are you, is there a time when you have a, a downtime or are you basically busy all of the time? Um, usually when winter comes along, it's not as busy. So we have a little bit of a break, usually from about November to, to March is when we usually start up again. And we try and stay busy throughout spring and summer and fall. And do you do a lot of rehearsing? Are you so perfect now you don't need any rehearsing? No, we still rehearse. Still we, always, rehearse. we want to keep it fresh, so we always try and add some new songs. So we uh, this we just added three new for new songs for this season. Now, I know that the Beatles has a, there's a booklet with all of their music in it. Have you had an opportunity to get one of those copies and maybe find some things that were not published by the Beatles that maybe one day you might be deciding, okay, we're going to play this today? Um... I heard nah, talk we, in the news about that book that somebody's in one of the college libraries or something that they have a book about that. Uh, some songs that have never, that they died before they got all those songs published or something. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not familiar with not that. I'm not familiar with that. But you do play just about everything that you know of that they had anyway. Well, we play, I think they have around 200 songs. We probably play about 100 of them right now. And so we try and keep people happy, but there's so many songs. All their songs are great songs, so you're going to hear something you really want to hear, and then you're going to wish we had played something else. Do you get requests when you do these shows? Yeah, we do. We get a lot of requests. Yeah, I, I, what are some of the, the, the ones you get more requests for? And they get a lot of them, but some that are most often requested. Um, she I know we've had me. requests for Anna. And, okay. Um, sometimes uh, All You Need Is Love, which I hate playing that song. <laughs> but um, it's a great song. I just don't prefer it. Um. Some people like some of the deeper cuts. We're always, we're always surprised to hear those. Now, Ellen and Rick, they, they do that too. Yeah, we don't play that one. You don't play it's that one. It's one we're still working on. <laughs> but there's so many, it's hard to pick which ones to choose because it's just, their whole catalog is great. Well, I've heard some little daycare kids sing some of that song. She loves me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I've heard you. them sing that. And they did a pretty good job too. <laughs> they, you know, it's, it's like I said, it's timeless. Everybody wants to be a part of the. Uh, Beatles generation, Beatles generation, and uh, you know I don't think I've ever seen the Beatles wearing anything except something black or white, black and white combination. Did they ever mix up their colors or anything? Yeah, well in the early days they wore suits. Um, they had different suits that all matched, and then when they got Sgt. Pepper, they had very colorful outfits. Um, and unfortunately, Ringo had a pink outfit. And Ringo was a tiny guy. I'm not a tiny guy, so I'm a big guy in a pink outfit. But, uh, <laughs> that's his kind of. That's a sight. <laughs> Easter's coming, you could just say, well, this is just before Easter, so I'm going to wear this pink suit and I'm going to be a buddy. That's a good point. <laughs> and I know you probably get a lot of senior citizens who come to the shows. Yes, we do. We played some 55-plus uh, communities, and um, a lot of times they have more energy than the younger people do. We have played in one community, and the age went from 55 up to probably really? 155. Some of these people had air tanks and... We thought they would fall out before the end of the show, they but they were all standing up and dancing. They <laughs> probably got more energy than we've got. <laughs> they really do. I don't know how they do it. Well, I am. I'm just so glad you're here. And you get you. You know you're gonna play to a crowd. Your tickets are already on sale. How long they've been on sale for a while now? They've been on sale for about uh, two and a half months now, uh, and it's starting. It, this is one of our, those events that sells more than others, so you should get your tickets now. Again, you can do that at templeshows.org or call the box office at 919-774-4155. That is wonderful. I am so glad that you, again, have chosen to come back to Lee County. Apparently, you found something good here, or people like you well enough that you would say, I will go back to Lee County. That's a good place to play. Yeah, the people here are great. Usually after our shows, we'll come out to meet and greet people. People want pictures. Um, and this has been one of the best towns for that. We get a lot of people hanging out after the show, and just super friendly people. And how long did you say you've been doing this? You've had this band together? This band's been together since 2016. We started started doing shows in 2017. So you were a teenager when you started, right? <laughs> I'd love to be able to say that, but no. <laughs> I believe it. Okay, well, we're so glad that you shared with us this morning. Out here. Is there anything you would like to tell our audience to get, to get them to come and listen to this band and enjoy an evening of Beatlesque music? Um, just come out and they can hear their favorite Beatles songs. Uh, we love it as much as they love it. It's music that we grew up on and love doing. We're very passionate about it. So if they come out, they're going to have a great time and, and definitely enjoy themselves. And the show is, the show is about two hours? Uh, it's about, about two hours. About Usually two we hours. go over a little bit. I don't, when people are having fun, they don't get to go over. Yeah, it's hard to stop. It's so much fun. And what is up?
parting words you have for our listeners now? Uh, I, I, again, I can't attest because I haven't heard them in the Temple Theater, but I would just imagine with our tin ceiling and the great acoustics that it sounds incredible. So I'm really looking forward to hearing some Beatles tunes on March 23rd. Uh, and again, get those tickets now because they're selling fast at uh, 919-774-4155 or templeshows.org. Have, do you have the same original members who started with that band, or have you changed members since 2016? Um, it's been the same four guys same since four 2016. Guys. Yeah. So that means there's no way that Seth can break into that group and say <laughs> I don't think so. We're, See, we're, we're, we're I, I know you were thinking, but that's okay. Mm-hmm. You, you, you got, you got That's okay. That's okay. I have some time. Yes. <laughs> okay. We want to thank you for sharing with us this morning. We look forward to hearing Peter Lask, and I'm sure our listeners will too. And we will talk it up until the 23rd. So. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you, Margaret. Have a great day. You too. What sets Central Carolina Hospital apart from the rest?